So when, so with the sun comfort that we all know about, it, is, it started back during the trade. You see, when they came over, deceived, manipulated, uh, stole and took away a lot of our people, took away our resources. They manipulated our fathers in a way that they were taken off. But immediately they realized that no, we have been lied to. They rallied the cry that we should go and fetch what belongs to us. But when they gave that message to us, those Europeans were not with us. They've gone out. And we didn't know how to direct the Sankofa thing that our ancestors spoke with rage. So we started looking among ourselves and started picking, among, picking it from ourselves. And that changed a little bit of us. But when you grow and you become conscious, that is when you started directing your Sankofa where you have to go for it. Today, you and I know where we have to go for our, our resources. But we don't have to go for any spiritualism because we are spirits. We were the first people to know who God is. That is why uh, King uh, Leopold II, mm -hmm. when he wrote to the people of Congo, mm -hmm. he, was, he was very emphatic. He told them, hey, hey, these people, never tell them who God is. Because they know. They know what are you. But just try to manipulate them because they are good. Mm -hmm. We are good in test. So why don't you manipulate them and tell them, blessed is the poor, for this is the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So in terms of spiritualism, that is who we are. But we messed up our spirituality because we forgot to read what is in us. But we read, we read what is in the world. That was why when I saw this on you, I said something. I had an encounter with someone, someone very racist, came over here and was saying all sorts of things to me. I told him, hey, there are three things that define us. And that three things, you can never get it. First, we talk about our spirituality. We talk about our strength. And we talk about our intelligence. I asked him, which religion does he belong? Because religion is what they think of. He told me he is a Christian. And I said, do you believe in the Bible? He said, yes, he believes in the Bible. For me, the Bible, I believe that it's the story of us. Mm -hmm. But the people that translated the Bible did not understand us. Mm -hmm. Because our forebearers speak in parables. Mm -hmm. That is how we speak. So whenever I'm speaking with you, it should always be in parables. Mm -hmm. And if I speak with you in parables and you are my people, you are the same people, you understand what I'm saying to you. So our history was written in, in, uh, on blogs, on scrolls and other things. So when they saw it, they transliterally, transliterally uh, explained it in a way that they understand the language that we have written. And that caused so many things. But the Bible, when you read from E, a to Z, just put yourself in it. It is all about, about you. So we going to uh, start the talk. Now I just try to bring you uh, back why you are here. Uh, I don't know whether we should start the talk in front of the graveyard uh, because of the sun, but I think it is also good to be melanated. So let's get to the sun mm -hmm. and let's start with the talk. Mm -hmm. Yes,